everyone, my name's Nina and today I am here to share my top five most disappointing reads of 2021. Now these books are not necessarily ones that were released in 2021, just ones that I've read. I managed to read 100 books in 2021 and uh, I enjoyed quite a few of them. My top 10 will be up soon. But there were some disappointments and some really bad reads and I'm here to share them with you. But first, some coffee. That's some good coffee. Do you guys like my mug? Look at him. Just look at him. Anyway, let's get into the video. So the, one, the first one I have to share is just so upsetting to me. It's Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Angie Thomas is the writer of The Hate You Give. And I read that book a couple years ago and I loved it. I have yet to see the movie, but I was blown away by the book. And when this one was released this year, I was over the moon excited when my library got it. And it, they got it back in May, um, but I waited until like September to read it. Um, and I was just wholly disappointed. Now I didn't know anything about this book um, other than what the cover shows me. Um, it was a contemporary young adult novel and I've been steering away from those, um, but I still had high hopes because I loved Angie Thomas's first book, I Hate You Give. This follows a young uh, black teenager who is part of a gang and sells drugs and uh, his cousin gets murdered and he knocks up some teenage girls and is trying to do better for his, in his life for his kids and deal with the grief of his cousin dying and trying to get out of the gang. Um, so it's really just a day in the life and trying to t like make better choices. Um, but I felt like the ending was just flat and bland to me. I wasn't really invested in any of the characters or care about the story. Um, I was just bored reading it. Um, so it wasn't a bad book. Um, I'm sure many people love this story. I, it was just disappointing because I had such high hopes for this book. Moving on to one that I'm very angry about, we have when No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. Now, I knew nothing about this book. All I knew was that the cover was creepy looking and it advertises it as a thriller. Thrillers are my favorite genre of book. So I was really looking forward to reading another thrilling adventure. Um, this was not thrilling. Uh, about like 90% of the book reads as a contemporary, maybe even a contemporary romance. Um, with like little hints here and there about something creepy going on, something eerie and out of sorts. Um, but it didn't read as a thriller and that's what it was mainly advertised as. So I felt a little bit deceived by this book. Um, towards the end, it goes nuts. Um, so a good chunk of this book is read as a contemporary, maybe even a contemporary romance. Um, in the last like 50 pages, everything just explodes and there you finally get your thrilling aspect of the book. But I felt like it was rushed all at the end. I felt like it wasn't executed as a thriller or read as a thriller. Um, and I felt like the ending was just very out there. Um, I didn't feel like there was good setup throughout the book. And I felt the fact that like the last 50 pages is when everything happens was really um, upsetting to me. I didn't feel like this was executed well. Um, I, I, If this was, like if they changed the ending to this book and just made it a contemporary romance book, I would have enjoyed this book more, to be honest. Um, but I felt like the person was writing contemporary and then randomly at the end was like, oh, let's make it a thriller. Um, I felt like you needed to pick either or. This was advertised as a thriller. I went and I read it because it was a thriller and I was severely deceived and disappointed um unfortunately so coffee break sorry um moving on we have the last thing he told me by Laura Dave this is also uh like a thriller mystery it was Reese's book club which made me excited it was a New York Times bestseller I didn't enjoy it I was pretty blah and I was really let down with the ending. I felt like more could have happened with this book. It's very much like 
what I picture to be an old ladies book club book. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, just not my type of reading. I was ready for some mind-blowing, thrilling, deceiving stuff happening, and it was just meh. Um, it deals with uh, a woman who's married to this man who ends up getting involved in this like money laundering type of scheme, and he disappears, and she realized her husband is not uh, actually her husband and is uh, has like a stolen identity. Um, and she's left with his daughter and she has to take care of his daughter and come to terms with who she actually married um, and piecing together his past. Meh. Meh. Man, I didn't know what was happening in this book. This book was very confusing. I have three novels and two graphic novels on my most disappointing books of 2021. And this is one of the graphic novels called Ever After. Um, the artwork was nice. I enjoyed the color and the art. Um, but I can't tell you what the hell this is about. I was so confused, especially by the ending. I was like, what is this? What even happened? It is dealing with a zombie apocalypse. Um, but nothing really happens. Nothing really makes sense. I believe this was originally written in German, um, so I don't know if it got lost in translation or if this was just a bad book. The last one I have to share with you is um, a nonfiction graphic novel, which I was interested in. Uh, this deals with a son telling the story of his father's uh, time in a concentration camp and dealing through the war, war, World War II. I didn't like the fact that it was in black and white, and I really disliked the type of artwork. But what irritated me the most in this book was the fact that it was the son telling it, um, but then, like, you're you're in present day, and he's talking to his dad, and his dad is telling him the story, so then you had, like, the flashback of what happened during the story, but it, kept, it keeps getting interrupted by present day. I understand what was trying to happen here. I just didn't like the execution of it. I didn't like that reading style. Um, so I was pretty bored with this book, and I there is a second graphic novel I know for sure. I don't know if there's more than two, but there's a second one. I'm not going to read the second one because I was disappointed with this one. Um, I was intrigued because it is a nonfiction, and I think it's really cool when uh, there's nonfiction graphic novels. Um, and this is something I'm interested in, but I just didn't like the execution or the artwork. Um, so unfortunately, for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> There is one book I wanted to mention that I don't have a physical copy with uh, with me. It was Writers and Lovers, um, and I forget who wrote it, to be honest. I won it in a giveaway, and I had heard Noelle talk about it, and Noelle's a fellow booktuber uh, that I really love to watch, and she loved the story, and I was so excited to read it, um, but it was just a contemporary novel dealing with a woman uh, who is going through uh, losing her mom and dealing with that grief, I believe, if I remember correctly. And I was just bored. I felt like nothing happens. I just didn't care. Um, so I was very disappointed because I had high hopes because Noelle liked it so much. Um, but I, I can't even remember really what it was about. I just know that I was not impressed and I was super bored. Um, so yeah, one last coffee break before I say goodbye. So this is my stack of the most disappointing reads of 2021. Let me know what you thought about these books. Do you disagree with me? Agree with me? Or what were your most disappointing reads of 2021? All right. Have a great day. Bye.